This is the womb of the white dragon, Hakuryu Tainai no Meguri. So going through exploring the womb of the white dragon. About 150 years ago, no, let's go back farther than that. Since time immemorial, this was a holy place to the Ainu people who viewed this as the home of a white dragon. Then, in the Meiji period, when people from Honshu came to explore, Shinto and Buddhism was also attracted to this place of great majesty and perhaps some sort of power. With Shinto belief, they inherited the Ainu and this became sacred to the white dragon, as you can see here. These are statues of white dragons here, or dragons rather. And this is the Shinto side. A tantric monk of Shingonshu, following in the footsteps of Kobo Daishi of Kukai, came here also and meditated in this cave for 21 days. And if you go too far, you just fall right off this cliff. This is a very steep cliff here, and it's terrifying. I'm here in Hokkaido right now as part of uh, a just short job to do a little bit of advising on adventure tourism, and I'm getting to explore the coast off of Otaru. Otaru has this really neat trail, Hakuryu, white dragon, Tainai, which is, means womb, Meguri, sort of walking around exploring. Tainai means womb, but anytime there's like a narrow rock area and you're sort of squeezing inside or passing through it, that's called Tainai in Japanese. And there is a sort of symbolic spiritual rebirth that goes with it. I'm here with a group and I'm sort of just trailing behind them now so I could show you a little bit of it. And as you can see, this trail is a little bit adventurous. They got ladders down here to help you go up. It's so steep, so there's a rope and a ladder lying in the ground though. Kinda do it on all fours or walk it like a stairway. Just make sure you hold the rope, it's pretty steep. Look at this, it's uh, really intense and it goes all the way down back the way to the ocean there. That's the Sea of Japan on that side. But I would say this is accessible to anybody really in decent shape. I'm with uh, some, a lot of people from different travel agencies today and also some people from the Department of Transportation and they're not avid hikers or anything and they're doing this without any trouble. There's another cave back there that has um, more both uh, Buddhist and also fox and dragon gods housed there. It's a smaller one and it's too dark to really show you inside. And plus I gotta save something for you to give you a reason to come and visit yourself, right? Damn, this is a pretty neat place. So as I said, this is uh, called the uh, Tainai Meguri, the white dragon Tainai Meguri, which is like entering the womb. It might sound goofy or funny, but um, this narrow space of rocks is sort of a symbolic or sacred holy womb. And by passing through that, a lot of ancient people would believe that they would be reborn. So let's do that. Let's uh, get reborn, yeah? Yeah, it's a little tight, but not too bad. It's harder because I got my GoPro in one hand. All right, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, look at this. So here you can see where the people behind me are coming up. And going up this ladder here. Don't slip. It's, uh, it's not that scary, but if you're afraid of heights, like I always say that I am, and it's true, it's a, uh, yeah, makes you a little nervous. There's a rope here, so you can uh, grab on. Don't fall down there. Wow, you can see everybody coming behind. That's quite the drop. And keep going up. I guess we've been reborn going through that. I have to admit, I don't feel, well, I feel good, but I was feeling good before, to be honest. That's okay. Some things take a while to take. And oh, look at this, all these Inari, sort of fox gods. This is a little sacred spot, obviously, to both the dragon or snake god and also the Inari. One of those looks like it goes back to at least the Meiji era. Nice. Look at that. Neat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if this is the way we're going, but look at this. There's ladders going further up here out toward the coast. 
This looks both exciting and terrifying, as I always say. Jeez, that's a cliff right here. Damn. Holy shit, I'm not sure that uh, I'm going up there, but I'm, I'll go here. Wow, look at this. Not a bad coastline, huh? Damn. And if you're curious how far down this is, I'll just stick the camera over. Hi. In the interest of pushing limits, I'm climbing up this little ladder right here just to see what's up here. And it's, uh, yeah, this right here, I'm not gonna go any farther. It's uh, not physically challenging, but it's just too scary for me. There's a crow up there, it's a huge crow. Ah, ah, and ah, another ah. Fudo Myo, a chala, the immovable one. Statue, I can see way up there. But this right here, this is my limit. Good to know your limits, right? This is mine. So this ladder right here that I just climbed up for just a brief second to the top here, I guess only monks climb up this and they go out on that ledge to clean uh, some of the Fudo Myo statues that are out there. Do you want, do you want to try climbing out there? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's go. 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 So we're going Ooh. next down back there, and then we're going to go up there back to the normal trail, I think is the plan. So this is maybe one of the last highlights of this little bit of trail. You can see our group members going up ahead. Fairly steep, fairly steep, rigid, rocky. You don't want to come here in your city shoes, that's for sure. You can see our brave compatriots where we just were over there. And dang, yeah. Fun. Ah. <laughs> Fairly steep going down here, you can see, huh? Ooh, okay. And here's sadly the last ladder, apparently to like these. Never thought I'd say that, huh? Ah, and here we are rejoining the trail. This is this first trail along the coast that I was at. Let me show you a brief map. Here really quick. So we started here, we went down along here, went down to the coast, and then came back up to here. And we're eventually today gonna go back down here, but you may want to go here. Here's maybe the last lookout point he's telling us about. The man leading us is a professional guide up here in the Otaru area of Hokkaido. Ooh, there's another uh, glorious Fudo Mio. Uh, no... I can go? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Not a bad view, huh? But look at this, look at this. Dang. Well, that's the exciting bit that I wanted to show you. After this, we're pretty much uh, just gonna hike down a normal little forest trail down to get some lunch. Uh, but I just wanted to, yeah, show you this uh, really exciting little bit of trail. And if you're ever in Sapporo, coming to Otaru on the coast is just about a half an hour train ride. It's, it's not far at all. And then uh, probably might have to take a cab. I'm not sure about the transportation details. If I find them, I'll stick them in the description. Ooh, there's a big bee on me. I'm gonna move. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the trails.